Do you want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying... Is it true that the little horn power in Daniel 8 was the ancient Ephesians? Our Bible verse today is found in Daniel 8 verses 9. And out of one of them came a little horn, which grew exceedingly great towards the south and east, and towards the glorious land. The first relates to Daniel 8 verses 9, which describes the little horn as growing exceedingly great. A simple study of Jewish history shows this never happened with the selected king. Another reason is found in verses 32 in the letter to their kingdom. With the transgressors have reached their fullness, a king shall arise. Antiochus did not arise at a later time or near the end of the selected kingdom as the prophecy mentions. Some scholars attempt to interpret the 2,300 days as literal days in verses 14 in the prophecy in order to fit Antiochus Ephesians, but this violates the principles of prophecy interpretation, which takes a day for a year. Numbers 14 verses 34. Taking this little time period of a little more than six years has no meaningful application to Daniel 8. All attempts to make this literal time period fit the selected king fail. Another question we might face is found in Daniel 8 verses 17 where Gabriel explains to Daniel, understand son of man that the vision raises to the time of the end. Antigonus died in 164 BC, hardly the time of the end. Looking once more in Daniel 8 verses 9, the prophets saw this little horn growing exceedingly great in the south and east and the glorious land, Palestine. Although Antiochus did temporarily rule in Palestine, he had almost no success in Egypt, Mesopotamia, east. The text just does not fit the history of this king. We must be careful to not allow those who doubt the validity of God's word to determine our beliefs. Some do not want to accept the truth about the identification of the little horn, and they attempt to point in a direction that does not fit the Bible. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and, you know, God's family is not a small family. So if you would love to join us in this adventure of praying with a mission, Check out what we have below. There are many other options and see you around.